now slope intercept uh, when we are given x intercept and the slope of the line okay so same as we did like this uh, when we are given y intercept and the slope of the line as we find out here we got the equation y equals to mx plus c all right this was the equation slope intercept form and now if we are not given y intercept if we are given x intercept in that case how to do all right how uh, what is the form of the equation let's let's try to uh, learn here so let me first draw the figure that we need the basic figure let's suppose this is our uh, y-axis it's not pretty straight well okay this is our y-axis and let's suppose this is our x-axis okay give the name this is our x-axis this is our positive y-axis all right <clears throat> now our line is making x-intercept so uh, let me say our line is something like uh, okay like this so this is our line which is making some x-intercept and our x-intercept here is this one all right this is our x-intercept and let me uh, say this x-intercept is d all right this total amount of i mean the total length of this is d okay d is our x-intercept so that's why the coordinate of this point let's say this is point a will be uh, d comma zero all right and let me uh, imagine here some some uh, general point or right? any any general point it is in the line let's say line l in line l this p is a general point uh, which has coordinate let's say x comma y okay and we know this uh, we know the, again the slope of this all right uh, this uh, this line l is making a theta angle uh, with the positive direction of x measured in anti clockwise direction so theta is the inclination so tan of the theta will be our uh, i mean tan theta tan theta that is our slope okay keep in mind that now uh, I'm doing a little construction here uh, let's let's say uh, let's let's draw a perpendicular here like this all right and another perpendicular let's draw from uh, from here to here okay so uh, we draw the perpendicular here let's say P M it is and it's again a and it is all right this is another perpendicular now if you see in the triangle in the triangle again P A N, all right, in the triangle P A N, all right. Uh, let me tell you one thing. If this is theta and this is 90 degree, right, and the complete is uh, this complete length is actually uh, 180. This complete is 180, and this is theta, and this is 90 degree. So this must be 90 minus theta. How? Let me show you. This complete length is uh, 180 degree, right? So let me write here. This complete is 180 degree, which is actually this theta plus this 90 and the thing we required and the thing we required is this let's say this is our x so our uh, this is going to be 180 minus 90 minus theta is going to be x so it is 90 minus theta that's our x so our angle is this angle is 90 minus theta so now what i'm gonna take here i'm gonna take cotangent all right cotangent of uh, 90 minus theta so cotangent of 90 minus theta that's actually base over the perpendicular so it's going to be base first a n over a n over this p n over this p n if you see properly uh, the figure is something like this uh, mm, all right this is our uh, 90 minus theta and this is since uh, this is our angle so the angle is sitting on this base so this is our base and the opposite of the opposite of the angle is always perpendicular and caught trigonometric caught angle 90 minus theta is actually the base over the perpendicular and the base is this one which is our an all right and the perpendicular is pn all right now what is the value of an <clears throat> let's see in the figure an this is actually you know this coordinate y so the total length is y here all right so this is our uh, let me write this is our y and pn what is the value of now pn see from here to here we have total distance x all right and from here to here this is our distance d so this much distance is going to be x minus d all right this is going to be x minus d and what is cot 90 minus theta cot 90 minus theta is actually tan theta and this tan theta we represent already we said that our tan of the angle tan of the inclination tan of the inclination is actually our slope so that's going to be m so m is going to be y over x minus d and if we rearrange it properly then we'll get y equals to x minus d times the m this is this is the slope intercept form 
for uh, uh, for uh, for the x-intercept and the slope like if we are given x-intercept all right x-intercept and the slope if we are given then the equation of uh, the form of the equation will be slope intercept form of the equation will be this y equals to x minus d times m all right this d may be plus or minus all right keep in mind because uh, like see here uh, like uh, here it is minus because this this x intercept is in negative form all right sometime uh, it may be positive all right it may be positive when it is like this so you know no, uh, it may be something like this you know uh, like this maybe like this so intercept maybe this one maybe this one maybe this one maybe this one you know any any type of the equation maybe so it may be plus minus according to the situation don't for, uh, i mean don't worry about that so we learned the two types of the uh, slope intercept form of the equation one when we have y intercept and the slope y equals to mx plus c and when we have uh, x intercept then that time it is x intercept and slope that time it is x minus d times m all right this is for y intercept and this is for x intercept so keep this both uh, equation properly in your mind this will help you more because this is going to be repeated again and again maximum time we, we work on this type of problem all right catch you in the next video goodbye